Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their <laughs> hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly on the feet, and she can also finish you on the ground, just a Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his midsection. <laughs> it won't show, it won't show under the back. So here she is, United States Olympic medalist, former UFC women's bantamweight champion, and Hall of Famer Ronda Rousey. You can't tell the history of women in mixed martial arts without starting with Ronda. It has to start with Ronda yeah. Rousey because her first UFC fight against Liz Carmouche back in Anaheim was truly, truly amazing. They went out there, they put on a great show. Ronda ended it in the most patented way. It had to end with an arm bar, Ronda got it at the end of the first round. The crowd went crazy, and you understood at that moment if Ronda was a star prior, she was going to the moon after that night in Anaheim, and that's exactly what she did. She really has had a profound impact on American culture. Halloween rolls around yes. every year. Ronda Rousey's are everywhere. You can't effectively put into words her contribution to mixed martial arts, and of course tonight, she will try to add to her legacy. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Herbert Dean's in the building. Great he is fight. the third man in the octagon Great. tonight. Great. So a nice mix of finishes for Valentina Shevchenko, an MMA pro dating to 2003. Known primarily as a striker and a good counter striker at that, but very opportunistic when it comes to the submissions. Juliana Pena can attest to that. Shevchenko could secure a seventh career win by submission tonight. Keep going with that. Nice shot there by the champ. She's got a roundhouse kick in the Arsenal DC and she put it to good use there. I mean, landed that kick beautifully. The only reason she didn't spin all the way around is because her opponent's body stopped it because she landed with so much force. Oh, inside kick. Nice kick. Fast pace here in the early going. Inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Rousey. Oh, 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 oh,
Reversal. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Caught that kick there. All right, well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good name. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed. Massive body shot. Massive strike. Great attempt. Great attack. And it landed perfectly for her. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh! Those are big strikes. Oh, that's a big hook there. Oh! She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Nice counter left there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Under two minutes now to go round one. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it. She got it. Landed. She still her head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very bad. Oh, that's right hand. Got to think she's going to go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She just not has been able to put her out completely. I want to see what she will change to ultimately in the night. Well, she felt like the uppercut was going to be there. It has absolutely been there. No reason to think she went back to it. No, she's going to go back to that position. She has to. She can go from the clinch. She can do it off of her combinations. She just has a variety of ways of landing that punch. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. 20 seconds left. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Final seconds here in round one. Do not back up. Let's go hard now. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, Second wow. round straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spend any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Round yeah. two is on the way. anybody in this division another strike there and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on 
game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night in that land. Huge shots going on right here. Oh! That'll do it! Holy oh, smokes! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Roddy. All right, so another seminal moment in a career full of them for Ronda Rousey.